Hi guys, this is Brandon from Golden Game Repairs, and I'm going to be showing you how to get Age of Empires 2 working on a Windows 7 computer. Now, there have been a lot of issues getting this game to work on Windows 7, and it will run, it will start, everything will generally work okay with this game, except the color, the color scheme, or the color, the, the color palette, I guess you could say, um, is all messed up. The grass is green, there are, uh, you know, little red dots all over the trees, it looks absolutely terrible. Now, uh, this is a request from one of the users who had posted a comment in my video. If you guys have any requests, just let me know, I'll see, to f see about getting it fixed. Okay, well there are, there are several different ways to fix this, and there's, uh, as far as I know, there's not an all-around fix that will fix every computer. Um, a lot of people say just close the program explorer.exe and it will work. Well, that's not the case uh, for all computers. It didn't work for me, but after extensive research, I found three ways to get three different computers to work uh, work with the Age of Empires 2 game. So I'm going to show you that. Um, the first way, which is the way that worked on my computer, it's not Game Booster, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, I'm going to post all these links in the description here. This is called Pallet Stealer Suspender. And basically what this does is it's going to close out any programs that are causing problems with your game. Uh, that's what it says in the description. And anyways, I've downloaded this and this is the only thing that seems to work with my computer. See, I've already downloaded it once, but I'm going to extract this and run the program so you know that it's safe anyways. I don't want to leave any room for doubt here. All right, and what I'm going to do, let's see, I already have it running. Let me close out of it and run this one right here. Like I said, I don't want to leave any room for doubt. What I'm going to do is I'm going to run this, and it's going to make an icon in the bottom right of my screen. And uh, all you're going to have to do is right-click on that icon and click on Configure. You're going to click on Browse, and you're going to look for your Age of Empires uh, exec. Uh, exe file and it's going to be empires2.exe if you don't know where that is it's going to be in your local disk uh, program files 86 you're going to scroll down to Microsoft games age of empires 2 and finally empires2.exe and you're going to want to hit open and you'll see here it's got your your folder in this box and you're going to want to hit add I don't worry about this this doesn't seem to be a problem it works on my computer and now I know what you're thinking this is just gonna close explorer.exe and it's gonna do the same thing as opening up task manager and scrolling down to uh, explorer.exe or wherever that is um, in my task manager and ending the process well on my computer I have tried that before and I have tried that recently actually just before I made this video I tried very hard to get it to work without using an external program but I couldn't do it this program for some reason is able to make it work on my computer specifically and this should be an all-around fix for just about anyone's computer so I'm just gonna check that box there I don't think it does anything uh, but we're just gonna click on save and hide now that we've got we've got our game added to the list here don't forget we're gonna we all we did was hit browse uh, selected this and hit open and and then it'll come up in here and you just hit add and it comes up in this top part of the screen so we're just gonna hit save and hide and now that we've got it got that done all you need to do is right click on this hold your mouse over games and you'll see your Age of Empires game show up right here you hold your mouse over that it'll say manual start now my video capture software is not picking up the game I had actually just already made this video except I opened up Age of Empires to show you what it looks like and it didn't show up in the final video so I'm, ha I'm making a new one right now um, and I'm not going to be opening up the game because it, it won't display properly in the video capture you won't be able to see it um, so this will just be something you'll have to test for yourself this should work and if it does not then there are two more alternatives to, to getting this game to work and uh, this one right here is for people who have AMD uh, graphics cards and for AMD graphics cards there is a uh, uh, the, the, there is a driver issue 
And if you have old drivers on your AMD graphics card, then it it will not give you the proper uh, color palette, even even if you do close Explorer, even if you do use this palette stealer. That's why a lot of people just give up and they're like, well, I've done everything and it's it's not working. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to update your drivers for your graphics card. A lot of people think, oh, well, they're probably already updated or that doesn't matter. It, it actually does. It, it it's very important to keep these drivers updated and I've got the link right here I'm putting them all in the description but I'm gonna show you on Google I'm just gonna go to Google and uh, I'm just gonna type in AMD drivers I've already typed it in before it's showing up purple alright I'm gonna click on that and then this button right here that says download now so you're gonna just gonna click on that and it's gonna download a program that's gonna automatically detect and install new drivers and this may fix your issue if it does not that and your graphics drivers have been updated go back to step one and try this um, once your drivers are updated and it's still not working you may still need to use a pallet stealer suspender so that you can close explore and whatever else this thing does to make your game work with the correct color palette all right now the last the last and probably the least helpful, it may work for you, it may make things easier for you or better for you, um, is probably just to download Game Booster. And I'll tell you why. Uh, game Booster is basically just a program. It, it can boost the speed of your game, your computer, whatever. Um, I, I personally, I like it. It's, it's a good program for me. Because um, I don't have the greatest computer in the world. I can play games like Marvel Heroes and um, Fallout 3 and... Crisis 3 and whatnot, um, but uh, anyways, what you're going to do is you're going to download it, install it, and you'll get this icon right here. Your game should appear in this local games list. If not, you can just hit the add button, and of course you'll be able to find your and local disk C, 80, program files 86, uh, you'll go to Microsoft Games, and like we did before, you will just click on Age of Empires 2.exe and it'll show up in this list. But what you're going to need to do is all you, you're going to have to click configure and uh, normally it'll start you up here and in your processes you'll see all this junk. Uh, what you really want to do is click on others and make sure this explorer.exe is checked. So I'll uncheck it and I'll check it again and it'll say that it's dangerous to end explorer.exe. You can't access my computer. Um, uh, you're going to hit yes and anyways, <clears throat> I'm sorry, anyways, um, basically you're just going to hit apply. And when you run your game, it's going to destroy the explorer.exe process. Basically, it's just going to close it. And this is a solid fix for a lot of computers. A lot of people claim that just closing explorer.exe when you run your game uh, will fix it. Uh, it was not the case on my computer, which is why I gave these two fixes up here for other people. But if you, if this works for you, then that's great. It's probably the easiest way to launch your game, because it's right here. It's just kind of like your desktop. It's got all your games on it. And uh, anyways, that's about it as far as Game Booster goes. And uh, if any of these fixes don't work for you, just let me know, and I'll see if I can respond in the comments section and do a little bit of research to see how I can get your game to work. Now, um, I wish I could show you a picture or something of the sort to show you the difference between the uh, the color it, coloration issues of the of the Age of Empires 2 without having the 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 said things done to it, like updating updating your drivers, running Game Booster, the pallet stealer suspender compared to how it looks after you run them. But like I said, I'm not able to, to run Age of Empires 2. It doesn't seem to capture the, the game. All right, well, I will be doing a tutorial in the future on Battlezone 2 because a lot of people have been having trouble getting Battlezone 2 Combat Commander to work on newer computers. It is a very old game. And also, this, this should be an all-around fix for games such as uh, StarCraft or um, 
older games that have color issues. Uh, if it doesn't, let me know, and I will see if I can specifically work with that game. I am also going to be doing a video on getting 1503 AD and 1701 AD working. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, thank you for watching.